Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about Brie Larson, even though we said we don't talk about Brie Larson, we're going to talk about her because I, I find this highly ironic. Yeah. So this is one hell of a headline. This is coming from We Got This Covered. Latest Marvel news, Brie Larson offers rising MCU star advice on how to handle trolls as Letitia Wright dodges the big question yet again. So Brie Larson is going to teach uh, teach a, a new young black actress how to handle trolling. While the media is trolling a black actress. While the, MCU. the media is trolling a black actress, harassing her. I mean, literally, they're, they're harassing Letitia Wright. They even had the producer of, of Black Panther 2 come out and say, hey, you know, she's not uh, an anti-vaxxer. She's not nuts. Everything was cool on set. We're all cool here. She's she wasn't not... there because she did get legitimately get get hurt. She got hurt and uh, they cannot stand. So they basically are going coming back around to cancel Letitia Wright. But now they're like, well, we like this other one. She probably had her shots. Yeah, and the other one is is Riri Williams, the actress who plays Riri Williams. And, you know, yeah. There's going to be parallels here because people found Captain Marvel annoying as hell, and they also find Riri Williams annoying as hell. They're also ones that the comics have tried to reboot over and over and over again, and nobody likes them. So they're trying to shoe them, shoehorn them into the movies. So let's let's talk about this. I cannot believe we're doing another Brie Larson video, but there there are rumors out there that she's going to be like the leader of the Avengers, and there's well, that's yeah. what they're saying. Hey, but her face sums up what we all feel. Right there. She doesn't even seem like she's into it. I mean, they had that interview with her at, what was it, D23? And yeah. they're like, hey, are you coming back after the Marvels? And she's like, I don't know. Does anybody well, want she made it all, But she made it all about herself then. It meant everything. Here's a picture of us women. But the only one that people didn't like was her. She made it everything about herself. That's what she does. All right, guys. So please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Uh, almost uh, 281,000 subs. No, we are 281. Oh, we are? Yay! Oh, yay! Yay, finally. <laughs> what the hell is going on? I don't know. Um, I like that every day anymore. Where am I? Who am I? What the hell is going we've on? Had, we had a rough couple of weeks. Let's put it that way. We had, uh, well, I'll, I'll tell you. We had um, one dog in surgery, and then we uh, picked up a puppy. And so now we got puppy and uh, an older dog recovering from surgery at the same time. That was our stupidity. Uh, and uh, mistakes were made <laughs> and, while, while trying to get things ready, uh, get things prepped for the holidays and for what we're going to do with clownfish for next year. It's there's been a lot of stuff, yeah. a lot of stuff going on. Anyway, let's talk about this. Dominique Thorne, I guess that's who plays uh, Riwi. Okay, Re I almost said Wee Wee, Wee Wee, <laughs> Wee -wee Williams. It's like Waymond from. Yeah, it's so it's so weird. Uh, Squeaking and I were talking about everything, everywhere, all at once, which uh, you know, still my favorite movie of the year. But uh, he was like, I thought they were being kind of racist, calling him Waymond, and it's like, no, his name is actually Waymond. Like, oh, her name's Wee Wee, Wee Wee, Wee Wee Williams. Uh, Dominique Thorne may have only been uh, very recently made. Wait, have only may have only very recently made. This is an awkward sentence. Dominique Thorne may have only. Dominique very, Thorne just showed up in the MCU. She just showed up in Black Panther: Wakanda Forever. She's already got a big future ahead of her thanks to the Disney Plus series Ironheart, direct to TV, and presumably, <laughs> presumably membership in the Young Avengers. Uh, she didn't say it out loud. The Riri Williams star revealed that Brie Larson. Wait, she didn't say it out loud, but the Riri, the Wee Wee Williams star. Revealed that Brie Larson had offered her advice on how to handle the rigors of being a human female, trying to play a superhuman female, and just all the things that come along with that, and uh, would lead us to believe that the number one target for the wrath of the more unsavory subset has dolt. What? The, who the so fuck writes this stuff? So basically, it's a point about trolls, which it probably was. They're like, we're assuming, and of course, you, when you assume, you're, you don't know. But in this case, I'll give them that. It's probably what it was about. But I think it's hilarious because if that's true, Brie Larson, who people do not like, who they do not like her character, um, was telling another character people do not like. And I don't think anybody has gone ahead against the actress, but they didn't like the character Riri Williams. And, you know, they're, they're trying to say about, well, the trolls and the haters. Basically, people don't like your character, and they might say they don't like your character. But don't worry. They're just haters and trolls. They're haters and trolls, everyone. Ah, <sighs> yeah. She spoke to Brie Larson. She was an open book about what her experience was like as a human female. Um, I'm very, very grateful to have some real genuine conversations with people who care about the work. Not only do they do a great job and create characters we fall in love with, they also care about the way in which that role and work is executed. See, you're, you're mistaken. You, you first have to create a character people like and fall in love with. She did not accomplish that. No, 
unfortunately. Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, here's the thing. I have not seen Wakanda forever. No, no, not her. Oh, Captain Marvel. Yeah. yeah well, I thought of Brie Larson, not her. But, um, yeah, Brie Larson was not good as What I've seen of Brie Williams, they made her annoying, annoying as hell. So, and a lot of times they actually do the actress a disservice. I mean, I that was like like Reva in, in Obi-Wan. They did her a huge disservice, not only by making her character annoying and unlikable. What if they did that so she had growth, but... Right, but but then they also focused the entire conversation on the color of her skin and what was between her legs. That was yeah. the entire conversation about Obi-Wan. Like, yeah, let's talk about Obi-Wan, but we need to have a conversation about Reva. Even though it was not the Reva show... It was not the was, I mean, show. it was, but it wasn't supposed to be. <sighs> so now that, that's going on and how I'm so glad that they're helping, that, that, that she's, you know, helping this younger actress know what to expect from the horrible trolls on the internet. We have the other part of this article was that, you know, but poor Letitia Wright still getting harassed because she won't answer the question about anti, about whether she's an anti-vaxxer or not, that the media and trolls on Twitter keep asking her, but that, that trolling is fine. That trolling is okay. Yeah, I mean, this is this blows my mind. It's like everybody's. I mean, we saw this. Well, these guys didn't say it was okay. They actually said it's not okay. No, but it's what not I'm okay. Saying, I'm saying the majority of people are saying that that's fine. Yeah, but I mean, we've seen so many articles out there, so many hit pieces on her being like, uh, they're only compl they're like, yeah, okay, it's fine that she's a Black Panther, but you know, she really needs to answer the question: Did you vax or did you not vax? Because what? you might not be my Black Panther if you didn't vax. That's true, but I don't know why it matters. Um, yeah, this person does say that, it, you know, as a result for refusal to open up on the matter, the dark cloud has followed right everywhere she's gone, and things have taken another interesting turn. Doing a wide-ranging interview with The Guardian that covered her entire career, White was somewhat shockingly asked flat out if she was transphobic, homophobic, anti-vaxxer. And while she denied the first two counts, the third remains a mystery. Oh, how dare she? How dare she? I remember... Why was she transphobic and homophobic now? I, what did she do, like... No, I think what happened was, if I remember correctly, uh, she shared a video from this one church, and I think that's where, and where the church, they, they the, church to, oh, the church's for beliefs were. Sake. Yeah, no, that wasn't the church day. <laughs> okay. No, but um, no, that that was my understanding. That's what happened. But they also had some weird. I mean, because I was kind of like, uh, okay, because their their belief was like, well, this is made from luciferium, and it's, it's, it's the devil's DNA is inside the vial. This is gonna. It's like, nah, okay, now you kind of lost me. But um, yeah, regardless, yeah, the Evangeline and Lily, same thing. They were all like, oh, she's so awesome. Go girl, go girl. You got all kinds of screen time and Ant Man, uh, you know, with the wasp, and you got Billy. Oh my God, she's an anti vaxxer too. I hate you. Die in a fire, bitch. Basically, what's happened to Gina Carano? She's like, well, you know, bringing Star Wars into it. Oh, my God. Finally, a strong female character. She's awesome. She's kicking your ass. Ha, ha, ha. Second man, babies. She, she's going to kick your ass. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, wait, you need to put pronouns in your bio. I don't, I, I don't want to do that, but I respect that you do. And I don't, I'm against bullying. You bitch. Are you transphobic? His, is the phobic bitch. Everybody loves a strong female character, a strong female actress, until they say something disagreeable. So, I mean, this is the thing, too. This is Letitia Wright, who's playing Shuri, who, spoiler, is, I guess she's Black Panther in this movie. She becomes yeah. Black Panther. I mean, she's I, been in the comics, don't know too. by now, then I don't want to tell you. Yeah, it's been out for a couple of weeks now. So, everybody should be lifting this woman up and being like, oh, my God, we've got a movie franchise, you know, headed by a, a, a black young black female actress and it made you know bank and this should be applauded and no they're still fixated on whether or not she took a vaccine that but, they've proven is questionable what it's effective yeah, re and, and regardless of your opinion on it the fact of the matter is like it's no longer mandated they said at disney it wasn't mandated they said um, they never had the, the mandates on the on the set no. So she didn't need to. No, she said, I apologize and I've moved on. I've apologized and I've moved on. Next question. Thanks. Yeah, they're not going to let her forget this. I mean, the same with Fran Drescher. It's going to be the same thing. It's going to be the same thing with Gina Carano. They're never going to. But they're losing power because I think people are starting to see just how devious the media actually is in a lot of cases. This happened with the Joker, too, of all things. I remember the Joker. I mean, you've got, you have Joaquin Phoenix being called like this misogynistic hate monger promoting violence. And the guy is like the biggest animal lover on the planet, a vegan, soft-spoken, and they're like, you just want white people to go out and kill other people. It's called acting. Um, <laughs> I like this. Well, people aren't obligated to get vaccinated. Embracing blatant falsehoods and then sharing them with potentially millions of people online is an entirely different matter. 
This is opinion. That is an opinion. Your opinion was there blatant falsehoods. Your opinion was there blatant falsehoods. Your opinion was that she was in the wrong and you made sure you inserted that into your garbage article. Um, and this is going to continue. I mean, they're going to keep dogging her. But again, they're going to they're basically I think what they're trying to do is be like, well, we've got we've got our our young black uh, superhero, female superhero now in Riri Williams. So piss off Letitia Ray. Who I want to point out again is just a, is this a, a female version of the established character people liked. It was, she's not even her own character. I mean, she is, but she isn't. Like, you just, oh, we need a girl Iron Man. Okay. They're like, it hasn't done the movie any harm. It's made 400 million at the box. Yeah, office. because people, most people don't give a shit. They want her canceled. I remember when this whole thing went down, they literally were calling for her to be recast because of stupid vaccine shit. And they were like, well, she's being difficult. And, and the producer said, no, she legitimately got hurt. She wasn't, you know, she didn't stop filming or any of that nonsense. And it's time to get over this shit. I mean, Fran Drescher, who's in charge of the Actors Guild, Screen Actors Guild, is like, it's time to move on from this bullshit because now it's basically gotten to the place where it's like a flu shot. Either get it or you don't get it. Mm -hmm. That's your call. You, you roll the dice either way, you know, and and uh, yeah, we, more so than not in that one. <laughs> but, but we move on, and and they're not going to move on. Anyway, it was just thought it was. I just thought the the irony was just so strong. It is a tale it, of two of two defenses, you know, because they're like, they're, you know, oh, she's terrible. Trolls are bad. Racist misogyny is bad. As long as you're as long as you're not, you know, directing it towards you know Brie Larson and the girl who plays Brie Williams. But you can do all you want to Letitia Wright. Yeah, I mean, isn't that disgusting? I mean, well, we saw again, you know, we saw it with Gina Carano. It's, it's like, we, you know, the media loves uh, strong female characters, strong female actresses in pop culture until they say something disagreeable. Mm -hmm. And then and then they just, they treat you like with the with the most hateful, you know, toxic bullshit. And they call you names and everything else. I've been on the receiving end. I got, I told you before, I got in a fight with somebody about why I don't like, um, characters in the new Star Wars movies and the person informed me it was a dude informed me that I was a misogynist then called me the, the, the a C word in Spanish and everything yeah. else because he was going to show me because you know don't you know he was a, a, sure a, a male misogynist. feminist and he's not a misogynist I am you're the but you're a C word all right so we're gonna wrap this one up okay, okay please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants guys we'll talk later bye